Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome back to Mary T channel. On today's video, I will be making a long gown, an A-line long gown, or a fish tail long gown, but it won't be having tail at the back. All right. So just an A-line fitted long gown. It's an off-shoulder gown off shoulder padded gown and the sleeve will be balloon sleeve together with pencil sleeve so my lovely viewers i'll be making this dress with this lace hair you see the lace but i'll be cutting first with the lining after cutting with the lining i'll be tracing it on the main material which is the lace so guys if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed please click the subscribe button it's free click it so that you can be a member and you can be able to get all my video also click the notification bell so that you can always be notified anytime i upload a new video so on this video i'll be cutting it directly on the lining like i said before like my video, share my video, comment. Drop your comments on the comment box. Then anything you want me to work on, drop it on the comment box. All right, guys, let's proceed. The length of the the length of the gown that I'm working on is 16 inches. The length is 16 inches, and the half length is 16 inches. So I um, will lose the half length from the 60 inches and I will have 44 inches. Then I will be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance. That will be 45. But because I'm cutting with the lining, I want the length to be longer than the lining. So I will my lose 2 inches from the 45, which is the length of the gun. I will have 43 inches. So I will be marking out my 43 inches here. After marking the 43 inches then I'll place the tape on the line and get my the hip measurement which is 9 inches and from the waistline I will mark the new line new measurement which is 18 inches. After marking the new line the next thing is to insert the waist measurement, the hip measurement, and the new measurement. So the waist measurement of the person is the waist measurement is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give me nine and half then i'll be adding two inches for sewing allowance that will give me eleven and half plus one inch for the dart that is twelve inches twelve and a half sorry then the hip measurement is forty four divided by four will give me eleven plus two inches sewing allowance that will give me thirteen inches Then, since I marked 13 inches on the hip, I will my last one and half, one and half, and I will mark 11 and half on the new. So after marking that, I will connect the both lines. connecting the line then from the new length I'll now cut the down part 
Ona kawy fishtel. So guys, this is what I have for the for the front gun, the damp part I mean to say. Then I will mark that line, which is four by six, as I usually mark. You can do four and a half or five inches depending the size of the person. So the length is six, while the width is four. After marking that, I will now mark half inch to the bottom line from the waist line. And I will now connect it down to the six inches. So why I do mark half inch to the both line is because when I want to sew the dart, I will be holding the two half inch and sew it. I hope you understand. So after this, I will now be, I will cut out the, the sketch pattern of it. Then using it to trace the back, adding my zipper allowance. So I've cut this out. I will be cutting the back pattern so guys looking at what i have i've already placed the front pattern the front skirt on the back and i've already cut out this side i cut this side equal so to the zipper area i'll be adding zipper allowance i might be my hip line 9 inches from there i'll mark my new line which is 18 inches so after marking that i'll now measure the length of the zip zipper allowance which i want so two inches is okay by me so i'll measure the two inches down to the new After marking the two inches down to the nail, I mark one inch to the nail length. I'll come in by one inch. From that one inch, I'll make a C curve down to the hip. I'll connect it back to the hip. Then from the nail, I'll mark out the line. So I hope you can see where I mark. So from this place, from here, I'll be cutting it out straight. I'll be cutting it open here. Then to this angle, I'll slant it down to that C curve which I make. Then when I get to the new hip, I'll cut it straight. So guys, this is what I'll be using for the back with my zipper allowance. I hope you can see it. So the next thing now is to trace it out on the fabric. I'll trace it out on the fabric. I'll show you how when I was cutting it, I my lost two inches. I told you that the reason I my lost two inches is for the the material, the main fabric to be longer than the lining. So I am now cutting it and I'm trying to bring out that two inches, which I, my loss from the lining. And what I have here now is exactly two inches. I measure from this side. Looking at this side, you will see they are not equal. The design is not equal. So I measure from here and I have two inches. So the next thing now is to cut it out and I also cut out, trace out this uh, back wall like this, then I will comb it with my gum.
so guys this is the gum i'm working on b6000 you can see the front you can use any gum of your choice uhu gum or any gum at all but i'm working with this gum for now so now i'll be gumming the the less material on the lining You know you can run a stitch on this if you don't have your gum but reason i'm coming it is for it to be very easy for me if you look at the less you see is net the net is very light so i prefer coming it than running a stitches on it So after gumming it, the next thing now I will trim out the excess. I will also cut the back one. I will also trace out the back one and gum it the same way I did on this first one. So after gumming the back one, well then I will move to the cutting of the half length. To cut the half length, I folded my fabric into two. So the half length is 16 inches plus one inch for sewing allowance that is 17 inches so because it's an off shoulder padded i will be my lossing four inches because the person don't want it to go down if you want yours to go down you can make use of six six inches or five or more but on this tutorial we're making use of four inches then i'll mark my 17 inches After marking 17 inches, the next thing now is I will mark the nipples to nipples measurement. That is the next thing I'm going to mark. So the nipples to nipples measurement is 7 inches. Then I'll be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance. That is 8 inches. So 8 divided by 2 will give me 4. I will connect the line. I mark the line from the shoulder down to the half length. As you can see, it's a straight line. So the next thing now is I'll mark the bust point and the under bust. The under bust is 12 inches. Why the bust point will be eight and half. I hope you can see that so after marking the 12 inches and hit eight and half i'll mark one inch from the under boss this is the under boss this is the boss point and this is the shoulder line and here is the half length line so i'll mark one inch you can mark one and a half if you want but i'll mark okay i'll mark one and a half this side and i'll mark one inch this side So I'll mark it from under boss down to the half length. So after marking it, I'll connect the lines. After that, I'll connect this line down to the boss point. And I'll connect this one down to the boss point also. I hope you can see where I have. Then the upper side here, the upper side here, I'll mark one inch. This is shoulder line. I'll mark one inch to the both side. I'll connect the one inch to the on boss point. The same thing to the other side. And this one too. So after that, the next thing is to insert the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 14 inches, 14 
divide by two will give me seven. Then I'll be adding these two inches, which are on my loss here. That will give me nine plus one inch sewing allowance, which is ten. Then the shoulder line from for the bust line, I'll be making use of eight and half for the bust line. After that, I will start the bust measurement, which is 38 divided by 4 will give me 9 and half. 9 and half, I will be adding this. I will cut out half inch here. After cutting this, I will half inch will go out. So I will be adding that half inch, making it 10 inches. Then I will be adding extra 4 inches for sewing allowance. Then the waist is the waist measurement is thirty six divided by four will give me nine plus two and a half inches. Here is one and a half, here is one inches, which will give me eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. Then to the waist, I'll be adding only only two inches or two and a half. So I'll connect the lines. So after that, I'll now carve the armhole. So after this, the next thing now is to cut it out. I hope you understand what I'm doing. I'll cut it out. After cutting it out, then I can as well cut the neckline. At times, I don't cut my neckline if I am cutting a, an off shoulder buster blouse. I normally cut the, la, uh, the neckline after cutting, after sewing the padded. Next thing now is to cut the pad line. So I will launch the underboss. So guys, if you want to carve your neckline, you can as well go down by one inch since the person don't want it done and connect it down to here. But mostly I love to join my buster padded before carving the neckline. So after this, the next thing now is to cut out the back. So I'll be using this one to cut out the back. So remember the half length is 16 inches plus one is sewing allowance. That is 17 inches. Then I'll be my lossing four inches to off the shoulder. So after this, I will now mark the zipper line, which is two inches. Zipper allowance.
So after that, I'll mark the shoulder line, which is 14 divided by 2, 7 plus half inch sewing allowance, which is 7 and half. Then from there, I'll mark the bust line. Um, I my lost my four to get the bust line, which is eight and a half, as I use at the front. Then I will insert the bust measurement, which is at eight divided by four, is nine and a half. Nine and a half, I'll be adding three and a half inches for sewing allowance. So I'll have 12, nine and a half, one, two, three, I'll have 12 and a half. Then the waist is 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 plus 3 inches to an allowance that will give me 12. So I'll connect the lines. Then I will bring down the 7.5 to the bust line. So from there I will come inward by 1 inch from the shoulder line. Then I'll carve my armhole. After carving my armhole, I'll come down by two inches to carve the neckline. So after this, I am done cutting the back. Then from the down part, I'll my last one inch. My reason for this one inch is so that after fixing the zip, I will not have bulge at the zip. The zip will not be folding, it will have a straight, it will just be straight. Then at the front, I'll slant one inch by the side. I'll do that now, showing you. So I'm cutting out one inch from the down part of the back, cutting the neckline, which I bring down by two inches. Then I'll cut the side and the armhole. So the next thing now is to cut the zipper allowance open. So this is what I have for the back. I will use it now to trace it on the net fabric. I'll be tracing it out here. After tracing it out here, I will also trace out the lining. But before I trace out the back, I'll be tracing the front out first. All right, guys, I've gone the front. This is the center front. I've gone it. This is the two side of the front. I've also gone it. So I'll keep it aside. This is the back. I've gone it also. This is the back. So the next thing now is the sleeve. I cut out a straight material, as you can see. I cut out the straight material. The length I cut out is about, though I folded it into two, but the length is about 40, which I folded into two and a half twenty. So it's two pieces here, half two pieces here. So the width, sorry, the width is 40, while the length, the length is 15 inches, 15 inches. So now to cut the armhole, because this will serve as the puff sleeve. To cut the armhole, I have to measure what I have on the back armhole. So I have 9 inches nine inches so to count the armhole i will mark five by four five by four and a half sorry is an off shoulder remember i my lost four inches for the off shoulder so i'll count for a uh, five by four and a half and i'll measure it to make sure if i have nine inches it's not up to nine inches so
So since it's not up to 9 inches, I have to extend it a little bit by 5 and half by 4 and half. So I'll connect the lines back and I'll measure it to see what I have. And I'm almost, I have 9 inches as I want, so I'll now cut it out. I'll cut it out. So now, So now guys, this is my, the angle, I have more than 9 self as I wanted, so here will serve as my angle, then the pencil sleeve, which I will attach at the down back part, I've already cut it out, I folded the fabric into two, and I measured 10 inches, 10 is the length of the sleeve, while the round sleeve is 14 inches, so I added one sewing allowance, which gave me 8 inches. So I made a straight something and cut, and I cut it out. So the next thing I will do is, I will spread this like this. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. I will spread it like this. Then I will take this. After spreading it, I will take one of these. And I'll start running a gather here. I'll gather it all after gathering it. And I'll now gather this side. I'll also fold this side and so. I'll fold it here and so. I'll pass the last stick through here. Then I'll, I'll gather this one on the sleeve. Giving me the puff and the pencil sleeve which I want. So guys, this is all for the cutting. Then we we'll move down to the sewing and I will show you step by step on how to sew every part of it. The bag, the padded, the buster blouse, the buster, sorry, the padded, the front skirt and the back and how to attach the zip and how to close it together in order to form a dress. So 